Então, well, a week like this can cause serious problems for people with issues, but all of us, health issues or not, are breathing the same bad air. New specialist Jed Bull shares advice from a pulmonary specialist about safer breathing for all of us. Jed? Yeah, guys, many, many of us this week have felt as though there's just no escaping this bad, polluted air. We can all wear masks like this, which do make a difference, but they're awfully uncomfortable to wear, especially throughout the entire day. I talked with Dr. Denitza Blagev, a pulmonologist and critical care physician at Intermountain Medical Center. As the pollution intensifies, her office gets more calls from patients with asthma, COPD, and emphysema. They're coming in for urgent care with chest tightness, wheezing and coughing. She advises us to avoid exertion outside and stay indoors as much as possible where the air is typically 50% cleaner. For the most part, indoor air is cleaner than outdoor air. So um, if you have a habit of jogging outside, this would be the week um, to come jog in the gym or jog inside and exercise indoors. As she reminds all of us to avoid idling our cars at drive throughs and pick up locations for kids at school. That's an easy way for all of us to choose cleaner air. Indoor air filters can also make a difference. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I talk with Dr. Blogev about some research that she's doing on those filters and how those could make a difference for all of us. For Live at 5, I'm Jed Bowl. Jed, thank you. And as Kevin mentioned, with the current weather patterns, anything that goes into the air in the valleys actually stays there. So what's actually accumulating up above? Well, the Utah De uh, Department of Environmental Quality broke it down. They say the biggest contributor are cars' tailpipes. Motor vehicles make up 48% of the pollution in our air. Commercial and residential sources, everything from gas stations to dry cleaners, make up another 39%. And industrial pollution, things like factories or mines, make up just 13% of the pollution. That means it's up to all of us as individuals to make a difference. Of course, stay with us for continuing coverage on Utah's air quality and the inversion pattern. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll show you how your blood type can actually change how pollution affects you. And don't forget, you can always go to our KSL TV app for more coverage.